Hi YouTube, you're probably wondering why I look like a line at the moment. Um, that's because I just got out of the hospital for a video EEG. It was three days long, 72 hours, hooked on machines, no fun. Since I've been through about 10 in the past year, year and a half, I kind of wanted to make a video about what the video EEGs are like, what you can kind of do in case you're getting one soon since a lot of epileptics and people with brain issues get done and in case you have kids that are getting them done this will help with some things to do since usually the ones you get done are about 40 minutes in your doctor's office but if they can't get anything there then they could send you to an EEG. Um, in a hospital and they'll be admitted for a day, they could be for, my longest one was like a week, or you could get one done at home and you kind of have to know what to expect. What the video EEG actually is, is it's little, it almost looks like the iPod headphones, the little earbuds, they glue earbuds to a certain part of your brain. And it'll monitor the electricity going on. And it'll show up on a machine if it's spiking or what's happening, and that'll help diagnose you. But my brain always just comes back normal, and it took almost, a f yeah, it did take a full year to actually show one spike that said that I was a certified epileptic. And it actually is pretty harsh glue, so I recommend, eh, recommend is getting one of these masks from them. This one's a pretty good one, so I actually asked her if I could keep it, because I get these done a lot. And, um, just put it on. Um, put it on. That way you don't really inhale the glue. Or, I don't think it's really bad if you inhale it, but it kind of smells bad. So then after they glue the little iPod earbuds onto you, um, they plug those into a machine, which is just like a little box. Kind of like a fanny pack. That's the part that actually records the um, brain waves, and then they send you back to your room, or you might already be in your room, and they plug you into the like a hard wire, so it'll be recorded and sent to your doctor so they can look at it. And I always get pretty nice rooms. I've always had my own room. It always is a bathroom. Um, machines that are connected to your head, basically, you go to, um, you have enough, I call it the leash. My mom, we call it our, my leash. I have enough, uh, slack, I guess is the proper term, to go to the bathroom and your bed. Some machines are six feet. My last machine was, I had 25 feet. So that was like, freaking sweet and I gotta go to the hallway and I was like flipping out I was so excited over going to a hallway there wasn't even anything in the hallway but it was awesome they'll tell you what kind of lights you need to keep on at night so that way they can still be filming you some have night vision so you don't have to keep any on now, some places you'll have to ask you can use cell phones and some places you can't use cell phones um, because it'll mess up the machines Mostly the newer machines are able to decipher your cell phone waves and electricity around you from your brain electricity, but you have to ask. Yeah, well, they finally got into the, um, the routine of my diet and they tried to do it, and then, uh, so now that's when it's going good. Yeah. Hi, I know. Hi, Nana. Hi, Nana. Hi, Be sure to ask, or else you could have really... You could basically screw up your test um, and have to redo it, which I almost did this time because I had something plugged in too close to me. You can't plug in anything close to you. I usually say like 10 feet from you. That's what we did this time. So the basics of an EEG are um, things to keep you busy, magazines, snacks, the television in the room, um, cell phone, laptop for internet if you're allowed to. You'll have to ask them. Um, if you're in the pediatric department, they have a lot of things that they can do for you. 
If you have any kids that are going um, for a video EEG, the pediatric wings are really usually really good. Like, they take care of me, and I'm the oldest kid there, and I'm still pretty occupied because I'm a little kid, as you can see from my superhero shirt. <laughs> Oh, another thing, um, you have to wear the button-down shirts because the machine is on your head. You can't take a normal shirt over it. Bring about one for every day. You want to get changed, it just helps you feel clean because you can't take a shower, so fresh clothes kind of help. Sweatpants are good. Um, the thick socks are good for the hospitals because you don't want to be walking around there barefoot. But if you don't have them, they have um, no-slip hospital socks they have. I have like 20 pairs in my drawer. Every time I go to the hospital, I get some because they're really comfy. Those hospitals now have Wi-Fi, which if you don't know is wireless internet, so you can bring a laptop. But make sure to ask again about if you can have electricity by your machine. We had all these saved up. Okay, that's a lot. You can't have gum, nothing really chewy, because you have two, um, you have two right here. I can still feel where the glue is, and it kind of freaks me out. Um, and you have two right here, so that's kind of where your jaw, if you clench it, you can feel it. Um, so the gum will spike. Oh my god, that's so much glue. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. That's a lot of glue. I don't even know if you can see this. But like how much glue is it oh my god this was what was in my hair so those are the kind of things that can help get you through an EEG for multiple days if you have longer or thicker hair what you're going to want to do is when they attach and glue everything on this time they'll wrap it up that way it all stays in place and doesn't um, the glue doesn't come off or get loose or anything um, and you don't pull out any of the wires by accident um, is to ask for a girl to do it because they, I, from my experience, they've always just done it better and kept it on longer. The guys have had to get rewrapped every day. Some hospitals will ask you to be sleep deprived on your video EEG. Um, that way they could try and almost induce a seizure and they'll have a little button by you that you press in case you think something happened. Happy brain weeks.